Crater Inference Server is a robust, feature-rich inferencing solution designed to deliver fast and scalable model deployment. The breadth of features available can lead to a natural question for new users. Where do we begin? Let's start by looking at how to deploy models. First, we need to build a model repository, which is the organizational hub for the Triton Inference Server. This repository houses all the models, configuration files, and any other resources needed to serve the models. Second step is to launch the server. This may take a moment depending upon the number of models being loaded. Once loaded, users can see which models are ready for inference and what ports can be used to serve the requests. Lastly, we can query the Triton inference server via HTTP or gRPC request. In this example, we are using the DenseNet model to classify our coffee mug. Let's peel back some of the abstractions and have a look at what happened under the hood to make this query possible. An inference request can be sent to Triton via the gRPC, HTTP, or CAPI. In this case, we will build a Python client and use the HTTP API. As inference requests come into Triton, by default, they are served sequentially, but they can be batched together to provide better performance. Each of the models has its own scheduler, which maintains a queue for that model's inference. The models themselves can be dynamically loaded from cloud storage or local file systems without restarting the server. Users can also specify the model loading policies to tailor to the use case. Upon queuing, the scheduler sends the request to the appropriate framework backends to perform the actual computation. The output tensors are then sent back to the client. This was a quick rundown about the flow of an inference request through Triton. Now with a general picture in mind, it is highly recommended to check out features like dynamic batching, concurrent model execution, inference accelerators, model ensembles, and more. All of which can be used with just a few changes to the configuration file. We also encourage you to try out tools like the model analyzer and the model navigator, which help optimize model deployment. You can find the links to the documentation and other helpful information below this video. Happy inferencing.